Shalom, brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah, check it out. That says right there, it says, Amen. Olive Mem Noon, right? Olive Mem Noon, it means barely, truly, but it means much more. <laughs> so, this is amazing. And, and I found that right here it says in um, Exodus 9 to, you know, to refuse is Mem Olive um, Noon. So it's Olive Mem Noon to say truly, verily, and to refuse, you just switch these two up. You know, and you get Mem Olive Noon, and that's Refuse, Mayan. Alright, I thought that was very interesting, but that's just the beginning of the... Oh. Hallelujah, so many good things. Alright, so I'm going to talk about the double amen. Oh my goodness, huh? Double amen. Amen. Alright, Um, the first mention... Is in the wilderness, right? So numbers, but midbar, <laughs> five twenty-two, and it's right after, right after um the jealousy ritual is told to the to the bride, to the wife, to you know. After the trial is explained that she is all good, no curses will fall upon you if you are not whoring around, you know. Doom, 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 right? And if you, and then she's she's explained also if you if this curse will fall on you, you know your 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 stomach is gonna get boom, it's gonna get cursed, and and your hips, bam, done, you know. So if you do her around, this is what the um <clears throat> the judgment is, right? So then she is to say. Amen, amen, double amen, first mention. I thought that was very interesting since it has to do with um, righteousness, justice upon uh, the, the bride, which is Israel, as we all know. And I found it very interesting how it also has to do, um, like, the it's, it's judgment to, to a woman. And she's, the woman, it's like, I think it's pointing back to the, you know, the eating of the woman, eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you know. And I thought that was very, um, I mean, in my mind, I'm like, whoa, you know, just thinking all these revelations. And, uh, but it goes on incredibly so as we all know mm -hmm, um yahushua has taken the curse for us so that we could drink waters that bring life now right so the waters that we we drink are, is his word right his word the living water through his ruach hakodesh his spirit that he gives to us praise god we are allowed to understand um so many things and start transforming the waters give life because we start acting um you know changing our behavior that's the life you know toward to his word all right um obviously right now man not a man <laughs> hello not a man oh what does that mean oh okay what does a man mean right it means to support with the arm unshakable firm secure and it's been uh known to to you know mean May it be so, you know. Yes, agreement. So it has been, uh, it's like an affirmation. Beautiful, beautiful. So in Deuteronomy 27, uh, 15, you know, resetting the curses of the covenant, Moses declares, Curse is the man who carves an idol and sets it up in secret. Then all the people shall say, Amen, you know. So they were all saying it. So this is covenantal language, covenantal language. Mm hmm. And every, and all the Yahudim knew this, right? Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, now, because of this, um, a man had... Uh, nothing could... All right. So once you say these uh, affirmations, a man, nothing could stop the curse if the man or, you know, if you go against the covenantal uh, um, thing that, that you break. You know, if the man breaks the it violates Elohim's covenant then it's that that is going to come on you because that you have agreed with this covenantal talk so um all right incredible beautiful so uh -huh. 
So check this out. So the Yahudim knew about this, right? And they were like, um, this is covenantal talk. So it's very powerful language. And I find it very interesting. And it would usually be um, used at the end to affirm a statement that came from Yahuwah, right? So, um, so Yahushua began to speak with a man, you know? He, he, he's revolutionary, you know, because he is the truth. But, um, so he can, um, I'll tell you the truth. Oh, these, these are all the, the different things that a man was translated to, right? I tell you the truth, verily I say unto you, in different translations, assuredly I say unto you, assure you, I assure you, I promise you. But in the Hebrew, it is translation straight from the Hebrew and the Greek phrase literally means, Amen, I say unto you. Whoa, right? Yahushua beginning his um, sentences with this beautiful, uh, powerful covenantal talk, right? Yahushua, um, the Yahudim knowing the verse, the covenant, uh, they, they were like, their ears perked up when every time he came back and it started speaking like that, right? When you, So, in John's Gospels um, accounts, Yahushua frequently uses the double amen. Verily, verily, I say unto you, and I just thought that was super cool, right? Because we got the Messiah, the Word, the truth, beginning the statement with with um, this covenantal language. And and it's just so powerful. And we, especially when we meditate on it. So meditate on it, brothers and sisters. And remember, Yah is good. I'm on, I'm on.